The Little Prince is approved and recommended by the National Education Association. as we go once again far, far out into space to that tiny planet called B612. It is great fun to journey so far from our Earth. We well, so that is why the little prince likes very much to fly all the way down to our world. He is all alone on his small world, you see? So he dreams of visiting strange new lands and meeting fascinating new people. But always, he must wait for his good friend Swifty, the space bear. Is that you, Swifty? Yep, it's me, little buddy. Straight from outer space. Hi, Swifty. Did you come to rest for a while? <laughs> no way. I came to see if you're ready for a little space sightseeing in Galaxy Galapan. Well? I've been thinking about it. There's some real good comets coming by today. Got a special one going to the Milky Way. That's where Earth is. Yep. Say, did I ever tell you about the jungles in Africa? How about snow? I've never seen it snow real hard, where the ground and the trees are all solid white. Well, that lets the African jungles out. I could suggest the North Pole. There's no pole there, but plenty of snow and nothing else. I'd like to see something else besides snow. Well, hey, how about a place called Lapland? <laughs> That's it. It's above the Arctic Circle. Snow, dog sleds, and reindeer. That sounds wonderful, Swifty. Let's go. And so the little prince has caught the tail of a blazing comet that is whisking him through space faster than the speed of light. Ah, but who knows exactly where a comet will land, eh? It plunges down to Earth and... Voila! The little prince has landed far north in Lapland, exactly the country Swifty told him about.
are in the tent of Loki. I find you almost frozen under big tree. It's crazy to be in this country with no fair clothes. You like icicles. Soup put some deep in you. Made from good reindeer milk. Smells good. You like? It's better than anything I ever tasted on any planet. Huh? Are you a reindeer milkman? <laughs> no, I hunt reindeer. I have still to get my first one. But soon, I hope. I saw a poor reindeer today that somebody shot and left wounded. I took the arrow out of him and he's all right. Oh, that red feather. That's the kind of arrow that shot him. My dear. My first one and you helped me get away. Do you know what that means to me? I know what it means to him. He has two motherless little ones. It is how we live. It's a sad way to live, killing helpless things. I will still get him. Tomorrow. No miss. I hope not, Loki. I do not know who you are, or where you come from, or how you got here. But you do not understand how it must be with us. I must prove I am a man. A shooting star brings him to us. It's hard to believe. But how else does a little fellow like that get way up here? <laughs> Play with children? He is a stranger who comes on a shooting star. Is true, Papa. Fairy tale. You are a child, Loki. You ask for the hand of my daughter, yeah? Only a man can ask that. And you have not yet shot your forest deer. I am not a child, and if I must shoot a deer to win Erika, I will do it now, today. The great antlers will hang in my tent tonight. No, Loki! creature that wouldn't harm you? Wouldn't you be a better man, sir, if you helped everything to live? There's lots of room on this big world for all creatures. We must kill deer to eat and make tents. But the deer don't ever kill you for food or shelter. Deer not as smart as man. That is why more man than deer. Pretty soon there won't be any deer. I guess you don't know what's happened in other places. We have heard about the buffalo, the tiger, the whale. We do not kill all reindeer, only what we must. We capture many, use them for work, breed them, and raise good, strong new ones. We must protect as well as kill. The reindeer is our whole life. Is your world 
covered always with snow like this, will only one thing help you survive? No. So you see how it is. You know why Loki must get his first deer. Yeah, it will make him a man. But it will also furnish food for our village and a fine new wedding dress for Erika. I've looked everywhere. He goes to save reindeer, and he has taken Loki's dog sled. He doesn't know dog sleds or this country. If he finds Loki, he won't be able to stop him. Let him see. Let him learn, and hope that he is the one who comes back alive. The little prince has taken off on a most dangerous mission to save the life of a beautiful friend. Why, why didn't I try? I might have got him. Did somebody shoot the mother? Must I let the buck live so he can raise the little ones now? You asked for the hand of my daughter, yeah? Only a man can ask that, and you have not yet shot your first deer. Must be close by. See, but I didn't 
didn't know there'd be so much. Deer, the first one we see, yeah. And always we save little ones or will be no more big ones. But I wish to marry Erika, and I did not prove that I am a man. Do not feel sad. There is an old saying of our people, when the northern lights shine down like this, it means the gods above are pleased. They must be very pleased. It's beautiful. 
I wish I had something like this on my planet to tell me if I'm doing a good job. I did a good job. Yeah, Loki, you did well today. The gods are pleased and I am pleased. There is another old saying about people. The shining northern lights means there will be a wedding in a week. You have my blessing, Erika, to become the wife of the man Loki. Good friend. This is how it should be. I save the big girl, then he saved me. Then Loki saved the little one. Everybody's saving lives, not taking them. Well, so the little prince had a most fascinating visit to the very cold but most beautiful country of Lapland. He was happy he could help the reindeer, but he caught a flaming comet that night back to his own planet to care for his own living things. You will join him on his next adventure with Fabian. Really?